In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually update Visual Composer on your website. You just go to ThemeForest, download the files, and upload them. I'm going to show you how to do it safely so you don't take down your site. And we're getting started right now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and you like learning hacks and tricks and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. To update Visual Composer, really quite simple. Head over to Plugins when there's an update available, and then scroll down to where you have it. And something funny happened during recording this set of Visual Composer tutorials. During that time, the company, WP Bakery, decided to rebrand Visual Composer. So now it's called WP Bakery Page Builder instead of Visual Composer. That's likely because of the rising popularity of page builders like Beaver Builder, the Divi Page Builder, Elementor, which is a page builder. So the page builder is becoming a term which Visual Composer has always been. It's always been a page builder, just didn't have that in its name. So I think that's probably why they rebranded. But what you'll find during this tutorial series is that sometimes I say Visual Composer, sometimes I say WP Bakery Page Builder, or just Page Builder, and they're kind of interchangeable. At least they are for now. But to update it, all we have to do is click on Update, or Update Now, and then it starts updating. Now we got a green check mark, updated successfully. If it did not update successfully, something went wrong, it would have stopped midstream in the update. But if you want to be extra careful during updates or before updates, you'd want to do a full backup of your site. And just in case something goes wrong, you have that full backup and you can restore your site back to what it was before you did that update. And then you'll likely have to contact WP Bakery for support to inquire why that would have happened or what next steps to take. But that is how you update WP Bakery Page Builder. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.